All right. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download a 3D character model from Mixamo. Use Blender to convert that Mixamo file into something that HitFilm can see. And then we're going to download a Mixamo animation and use it with that new model in HitFilm Pro. So stand by. Let me get my uh, act together and let's let's do this thing. All right. So we'll start with grabbing a free 3D character from Mixmo. Okay, I've gone through the list. You can go over here. Just pick any character you want. You know, it's going to make it simple. I picked this guy here. He's called Elk by Atenzia or whatever. Okay. So what you want to do is just pick yourself a character. Okay. And then download the character in a T in an FBX format T pose. Okay. So we're just going to download that puppy. All right. So we're all done there. So let's go pick an animation. Uh, I've been fooling around and uh, we'll just grab a flying knee punch combo. Okay. So now the 3D character model has a Mixmo animation rigged to it. All right. So we're going to download that animation format FBX uh, with skin 30 frame per second. That's going to match our project length in hit film or our project uh, frames per second in hit film. So let's download that puppy. Okay. We're all done there. So let's head over to Blender to convert the FBX file from Mixmo because the FBX model file from Mixmo does not work properly in HitFilm. So let's head over to Blender and see what's going on there. All right. So here we are in Blender and we want to take that FBX model that we got from Mixmo and we want to convert it back to an FBX model that HitFilm can see and use. So this is real simple. Uh, you open up a Blender, you're going to get a default screen. Uh, you're going to get a cube. Just select it. Hit X to delete it. Then go over here, File, Import. We're going to import the FBX file. The file we downloaded is this uh, Elk, E-L-Y-K deal here. So we're going to open that up, import that into Blender, and uh, there it is, okay? It's got the control points and everything that came right over from uh, Mixamo. Now, it's not animated. It's just a uh, 3D model. So what we're going to do is you just want to export this. So we're going to export FBX, okay? And uh, all we want is the mesh. Okay, we want the mesh and uh, the settings here in geometry, apply modifiers, use modify render settings, the armature, add leaf bones, animation. We just want to click uh, on uh, unclick baked animations. All right, so with that, we're going to uh, export the model. Uh, so let's put that in that work directory. I've already done this once. It's called blend C convert FBX. So I'm just going to override it. Okay. Export the model. If I go up here to my work directory, there's the blend convert FBX. Okay. That's, that's it. Blender exported the model and the textures that were associated with the model. Okay, so next step, taking it all into HitFilm, making it work. All right, here we are in uh, HitFilm. And uh, I've already imported the model Blend Convert. Just simply do that by uh, Import 3D Model Blend Convert. I'm not going to do it because I already have it in there. Okay, and I've also imported the... Uh, Mixmo Animation FBX that I downloaded from Mixamo. 
Same way, just uh, import 3D model animation, okay, and then pick the animation that you want. I downloaded three of them. We're going to play with the flying knee punch here, okay? So I'm not going to import them. They're already imported. You should be able to figure it out. Pretty simple, okay? Uh, so I'm going to make a new comp, okay? Comp's to shot. We're going to make it uh, maybe four seconds long or so. I will just call it comp for now. I'm going to take the uh, blend convert model. Okay, that's what I named it. It's our 3D character. You can see it's just uh, stopped in a, you know, it's just imported in a pose. Okay, that's all it is is a pose. The an and this uh, this this uh, animation file here, this one second blend convert animation file. Uh, you don't need it. That comes in with. Uh, with a FBX file, but it's empty, so you can just delete it, okay? So we have the uh, converted model in the timeline here. We're gonna twirl down the uh, model properties and we're gonna see uh, transforms and animations. We're gonna grab the uh, flying knee punch combo animation that I downloaded from, downloaded from Mixamo, and I'm just gonna drop it right on the uh, animation slot of the model now if you see here we are the dude's jumping he's probably going to jump right out of the frame on us right over the top of us oh no he's going to stand and we're going to look right at his ugly mug okay so listen literally that's how easy it is to take a mixmo animation file and apply it to an fbx model now we can uh so that's it Right? Okay, you can see he's jumping up and out of the frame. You can do just about anything with this, okay? So the animation's out of the way. So I'll show you, you know, a little uh, bonus here. I'll show you what you can do. You know, here we got our animation guy. He's jumping around. He's out of our camera. It's about three second animation and it just stops, okay? Uh, what you can do, finish it off. Okay, as I just took the same animation, dude, okay, and I put a uh, 360 uh, environment behind him, shadow map on the uh, ground, and, uh, you know, pushed, him, pushed the camera back a little bit so he wasn't so far, uh, so close to us. See, I can either, if you do camera, it just moves the uh, model, okay, the background is stationary. If you use zoom, you can actually, you know, get a little bit of, get a little parallax movement in the camera, okay? So you can set the camera wherever you want, you know. You can see we're way rounded out here. I need to get back in where it's realistic. Yeah, just kind of get in here. i tell you what, we're just going to reset to what I had. Okay, so I basically have. Uh, the shadow plane, uh, if you don't know about a shadow plane, it's just a white plane turned into 3D. Its properties are uh, 4,000 by 4,000 white square. Okay, I uh, just uh, turned it to 3D. Okay, right now it's 2D. That's how you make it. White plane, I named it shadows. Turned it into a 3D, drug it down underneath the model, put its blend mode to a multiply. Okay. Takes away all the white, leaves the black. The key light, I turned the, uh, I added a light, uh, directional light, turned the cast shadows on, went to the model. Okay. Let it receive shadows and cast shadows, turned on ambient occlusion, and use an environment map, basically the background, to further and uh, you know enhance the guy to get get him to look like part of the scene. Uh, to finish it off, really, added an ambient light. Okay, ambient light. Uh, it's just really, it's really. Well, I actually got it kind of high at 70% and I'm letting the side of them. You can see if I took ambient away what that does. Okay. 
ambient light is just set up in your model properties. I'll run a little slow here. Model properties. Uh, let me change your ambient specular. Let me turn this down a little bit. Diffuse. So here's the ambient light. I can make that darker, lighter, you know, whatever. Uh, here's the model settings. I'll just take have it just pause here for a second and let, let you take a screen capture of them or whatever you want to do. It's a real simple setup. Okay. Go ahead and cancel that out. I finished the guy off. Uh, I left the model in a 2D layer so I could add effects to it. And the uh, only effect I added to it was a uh, light wrap. And the light wrap, let me uh, bring the guy in here so we can see him. I'm going to turn the light wrap off. Really hard to see up around his head here. Let me see. Up around his head here. So I'm going to turn the light wrap off. Okay. Turn it on. You see that subtle wrapping of the background light around the guy's head and his shoulders. That just further helps to blend the model, you know, into your scene. Uh, and... In your model settings, just to let you know you're using a background. Okay, it's an HDR image map, it's a big one, 8,000 by 4,000. Uh, in your model, okay, in order for you to get the environment to affect your textures, all you have to do in your model is turn your refractive amount up, maybe, you know, 5, 10 percent. That'll help the background image bounce off the textures. Give yourself more natural, realistic lighting to the scene. So, really, there's, uh, you know, it's a Mixamo animation, a little three-seconder. I'm sure you could string a bunch of them together and really, uh, you know, get something cool going. But, uh, you know, this is just a, an example of what you can do uh, with uh, a supplied model from Mixamo. Hope you learned something. I did when I put it together. So with that, happy modeling. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.